possible? How could a mere whelp defeat me? Thank you for holding out so long. The Cloud Knights are withdrawing as we speak. Lieutenant Yang Ching, how are you holding up? I... I thought I was done for. I wouldn't want General Jing Yuan to lose the disciple that brings him so much pride. When I sensed that Hule was not on the ground, I raced to get here as quickly as I could. Who would have imagined that I would arrive late to the battlefield for the first time in my life? No. Perhaps you young ones' blades were just too fast for me. I originally thought, in the best case scenario, you would team up and hold this beast back while protecting yourselves. However... You joined forces and defeated Hule. Ah, the youth are truly to be feared and respected. Come, we need to lock up Hule once again before anything unexpected happens. Oh, hi! I was so scared! I thought you were a goner there! We're so lucky the general made it in time! And Jing. That was amazing! The final blow you dealt to Hule! How have I never seen that before? <laughs> Do you want to learn it? <laughs> I can teach ya. <clears throat> but, uh, I'll need some time to heal up first. I hate to say it, but if you can teach me that move, I'll maybe admit that you're just a tiny little bit stronger than me. Such an unforgettable blade. So similar to the one wielded by that woman who defeated me all those years ago. <laughs> Over 700 years have passed. And I thought I would have a way to overcome it by now. <sighs> but in the end, <laughs> my fangs and claws were too slow. Stop struggling, Hule. There's plenty of time for you to be tortured by your regrets when you go back to the Shackling prison. Yes, I was defeated, but this was not unexpected. <laughs> and regardless, <laughs> you still showed your face, face show. Of the Boris and Warhead, a product of the Plague Mark. 
I'll leave the next part to you. I don't understand. We can't have allowed this thing to spread. I will do all within my power to consume this crimson moon. Once the situation changes, Lieutenant Yen Ching, you are to enforce the Cloud Knight's military rules. Understood. Isn't it strange that as your enemy, I 
my own eyes. Just consider me a figment of your imagination. Before every hunt, I make preparations for defeat and retreat. But not this time. This time, defeat was exactly the ending I was racing to. survival of the fittest is nothing but an excuse. You cannot weaken my resolve, Hule. Blinded by the fury of your moon rage, you slaughtered your allies. Merlin's claw, you have betrayed the alliance. Your actions are no different from those of the abominations we stand against. Still show you this path. 
did you say? The descendants of Duran who came to rescue me hoped with all their hearts that once I regained my freedom, I would be able to turn the tides of battle and change the fate of our people, allowing the Borison to return to their former glory. But this was just a dream used by someone. what it is that I truly desire. When I was just a child, I stained my hands with blood for the first time in order to escape the whips and shackles of the Wolfmasters. It's shining. 
we just tell it our wish, we can have our freedom. We will all be able to escape. We'll win our freedom and then share it with our cooler brothers and sisters. So you have to run, quickly. We can do it, we can escape. followed the trail of that light alongside my Cloud Knight allies and saw it fall countless more times. Gradually, I came to understand. That light was not some shooting star that carried wishes and aspirations. Each Lux arrow meant that countless lives in a helpless world were about to be obliterated. I prayed to the god of the sky bow that I would never have to witness one of these shooting stars fall again. But they ignored my prayers. That's right. They never answer us. They just let us loose in this room to massacre each other. That is why the fierce battle between us has raged to this day. If the gods have never pain nor cry, who walked silently from above, refused to listen to the prayers of mortals, then we have no choice but to fight for our own desires. Do you understand now, Sauron? What is it that you yearn for, Hule? Why is it that you fight? I fight so that I can turn the stars above into a great wilderness for the forest and the tomb. What about you, Saran? I fight so that one day I will never have to witness another shooting star falling to the ground so that just one more person can live and return to the Yao Ching alongside me. that were born for war and will die for war. You were right when you said that, Hule. 
So, I shall pray to the heavens. Even if they do not respond to me, I pray that the arrows of the hunt will pierce the heart of every monster. Do you see me, shooting star? The knights are sworn to protect the Sienjo. I will uphold this vow until my very last day. In 
I swear to be the arrowhead. Forever triumphant! Myself. 